Hey YouTubers, no one else coins. All right, this is part two. If you hadn't seen part one, you have to watch part one to understand part two. Contacted uh, the owner that I got this set from. There is something fishy going on with it. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. He said that he's had this thing for years, for 20 years minimum. Uh, which I don't doubt that. Coin collectors buy stuff and they put it in a safe deposit box or whatever. And I believe him. He's 80 something years old and I don't see any reason why he would make anything up. Uh, I did find, uh, this is a mint set. Let me, let me just, if you ain't seen the first video, I'm just going to explain. I opened this up live with my knife. Uh, supposed to be a 64 Denver set of coins, silver, and a 64 set of Philadelphia mint set is what it says plainly plainly right mint this is a mint set all right p and d that means philadelphia and denver coins six silver coins all right i opened it up i pulled this out first and this should have i should have had a red flag right here because it says U.S. Proof Coins. If you want to pause that, you can. Which it, this is not proofs. All right. And I continued in, and you, if you watch the video, you know I found a proof set of 1964 Kennedy half dollars, which three of them are silver, like here, but these are proof coins. And I looked a little closer on camera and realized it was the accented hair. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And I it's the accent in here. You can plainly see it right there. The serif is gone here. Now, I won't be able to zoom in on this like I want to, probably. But on top of that, this coin has doubling on the top of the L, B, all the way around the top of these coins is doubled. The bottom of the four inside the loop of the six. And what that is, it's designated as DDO FS 103 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Now, let me do a little explaining. Now, if this wasn't that if this was just a regular uh, 64 like it's supposed to be in this pack, uh, it's probably worth 10 or 12 bucks. Now, proof, just a normal proof, worth, you know, 20, 25 bucks. Now, since it's the accented hair, and I'm going to grade this thing. It's at least a 65, 66 grade. Now, an accented hair, which this is in the book, in 66, just a regular accented hair. Not, not accented hair. Let me see, hang on. Yeah, accented hair in a 66. Makes that worth eighty-eight dollars. 
A grade 67 is a hundred and fifty dollar coin. 68, three hundred and fifty eight dollar coin. 69 is thirteen hundred dollars or something, which is, this is not that. All right, now I went to PCGS's coin facts, found the variety, uh, uh, I identified it this coin being that variety, and I looked on their price guide. Now, in 66, normal was $88. I actually wrote all this down this time, so you have to give me a thumbs up for that. Um, yeah, regular accent here is $88. Since it has the doubling in 66, it's $250 fifty dollars instead of 88 now that's retail guys that's not what that's if i had a store 66 oh let me let me back up in 66 is 250 dollars there's only nine ever graded or ever found in that grade through pcds ngc and the others i have no clue in 66 plus grade with the variety is three hundred dollars there's only ever been one graded 66 plus let's step it up in 67 there's only been two of them graded five hundred and fifty dollars 67 plus there's only ever been one graded with that diet with that variety six hundred dollars in 68 which is the highest one ever found there's only been one one thousand dollars i don't think this is a 68 coin i think it's a 66 or a 67. uh Yeah, it's kind of neat, guys, because it goes from, let's just take the highest number in 68. It takes it from a 358 dollar coin to a thousand dollar coin just because of that DDO, that double dice, if it was a 68. Now, if this was just a normal proof, nothing special, plain Jane proof coin, it'd only be worth, in 68, only be worth about 40, 43 bucks. So you need to look for your dive varieties, your DDOs, uh, DDRs, which is double die reverse. Uh, you need to educate yourself. I don't know it all. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there knows it all, but I don't. Now, back to this mint set. I believe the guy uh, didn't monkey with this. Honestly, I don't know if somebody... Uh, it, it's obvious somebody years ago tampered with this thing. Because this says proof. It's not a proof set. Uh, I showed in another video that a, a proof proof coins would say. Let me see if I can find it. It it would it would say proof. Surely. Yes, it says proof. So there's your answer, guys. I didn't do it. My friend didn't do it. I'm still kind of speechless. Y'all seen it here. Please leave me a comment, guys. Tell me what you think, and uh, I'll see you next time.